Just done a backcountry trek, and I am just fresh off of a hut trip in Colorado and have flown out to Naples, Italy with my middle daughter, Amanda, who you've probably seen before. So I have this very same backpack here from Tom Ben. This is the hero's journey. And we hiked for three days around 12,000, 13,000 foot peaks in Colorado, primarily with this backpack for everything that we did out there. It's perfect for hut trips. So go and watch that review if you wanna see how it worked at hut trips. I've taken the same backpack and this is the only backpack that we have now brought to Italy. Uh, and I wanna show you just very briefly because there's a lot of overlap. I'm not gonna talk about all of those features again. So click back again to that video if you wanna see that. But this is the only backpack the two of us have brought for a week out here in Naples. So again, when we went on the airplane, we took the backpack just like this. I took the backpack just like this, I should say. Amanda took the day pack part, and from the other video, you saw that it did not look like this. In fact, what we did is when you open the front compartment, when you open the compartment up here and flip this inside out, you've got backpack straps on the inside of it. And that's how she wore it all the way over here. I have not been wearing it like that, and I will tell you why. This is Mount Vesuvius in the background, by the way. Yesterday we climbed that and saw that it is still steaming and still very much an active volcano and could erupt at any moment. The way that I have been carrying this is as a shoulder pack. So I'm wearing it around my shoulder, this backpack stays back here in the apartment and I'm wearing it like this. I primarily wear it this way versus the backpack way because I've got camera gear in here. So I can pull that out. I have money. There's a, when you have it in the backpack portion, there's only one, it kind of sits like this and there's only one pocket over here for a water bottle, which is really nice for hiking, but I like to kind of hidden on the back here against my waist. I have passports. I have our extra money, I have my wallet, um, stuff like that, that sits in there. So very difficult to break into. There's a little bit of a concern in Italy, though not a huge one in my mind. But then you have a big um, pocket on the outside. I normally, I have my camera gear over there, that's how you're watching this, um, but I have extra batteries uh, and things like that. Then on the inside, I'm carrying extra jackets. I've got water in here. I have umbrellas and I have, of course, an emoji pillow because you can't leave home without those. So that's how I'm wearing the day pack. And this has come out with us every day. We climbed Vesuvius in this. We did Pompeii. We did another archeological site. We've been on five trains and uh, two buses in the past couple of days and all over the city. So it works really, really well. Now, when I fill all of this stuff up with souvenirs, the really amazing thing about this is that I really don't appear to drop this stuff out the window. You can unhook the um, strap here. So I just have that strap, comes with the backpack. I can unhook that, and when I find the right side, this sits on top of here, and you can see these two zippers. So it sits right on top of here. The whole thing zips back on. So if I have too many souvenirs or something to fill up the two backpacks, I can convert those two backpacks into one and I have other things that I could carry like bags or whatever souvenirs come in. I actually happen to have a camera bag inside of this that I have not taken out of here since we actually left home because I much rather prefer taking the day pack as opposed to what looks like um, a camera bag with expensive equipment in it around a place like this. So that's how I'm using the Hero's Journey backpack out here. It's super amazing for travel. It's versatile. You can use it on hut trips one weekend and the next week can go to Italy with it and feel like you fit right in. So I absolutely love this thing. It would work great for backpacking around Europe as well. Um, I did take off the hip belt, as you see in the last video, there's no hip belt on it. So I'm not traveling with that. We're not backpacking. I don't care to be walking around a city and stuff like that. So converted it, left the stuff I didn't need at home, lightened it up, and it works super well. Again, from Tom Ben, this is The Hero's Journey, and I'm Justin at Backcountry Treks.